are still alive right now. People like Gordon Ramsay. Imagine if he honestly said he had a whole change of personality, which will never happen by the way, because the guy is a total creep. But let's just say, people like him, all the chefs of the world said, we are tired of abusing animals. We are tired of paying into this system. We are tired of not being brave. We want to be brave and speak out even if you don't like us that much. We want to do the right thing. We want to leave a legacy of kindness on this planet. So from now on, all of them would wear on their pa on their lapels here, on their, their, their jackets or on their, their chef coats. You know, vegan from now on. I'm a vegan chef. Can you imagine? How cool would that be? Imagine if every teacher in the world, when their students asked them what you ate for dinner, they said, vegan food, of course. Imagine if every police officer who ever went into a donut shop said, what are your vegan options? What kind of vegan donuts do you have here? You see, it's possible. It's totally possible. No. What if every firefighter, <coughs> excuse me, went around and when they were teaching children about fires and how to put the fire out and they went with their uniforms everywhere, said to the students and the teachers in the classrooms, you know what, when there's a fire, I don't run to the fridge to rescue the vegetables and the fruits because plants don't have feelings. Plants are not alive, they're not sentient. We could argue if they're alive or not, but they're not sentient, they don't feel. Plants don't feel pain. They don't have a brain. They don't have a nervous system. So it's okay to bite into them. You have a heart. You know where to start. Right now, you can be vegan from now on. Imagine if all the firefighters taught people that said, we save the animals in your homes. We save the people. We don't save the celery, you know? Imagine if every business person, when it was time to go out and eat, they said, okay, it's time to eat. Which vegan restaurant do you want to go to today? Imagine if that was the default. To do good, to be kind, to truly be kind, not just polite, but actually kind. What a world it would be. What a shame that the Queen of England didn't become vegan in her later years. She could have had such a domino effect. What about the new king? Charles, apparently he cares about the environment. Does he really? Because the best thing you can do for the environment individually, three times a day, is to eat vegan foods, to not contribute to the suffering and the pollution. But most people won't do that because most people are selfish narcissists. But are you? What will your legacy be? How will they remember you after you die? Now, I have no illusions about how I'm going to be remembered. Sure, I have my Wikipedia page that they started and they wrote a bunch of facts on there. But you know, sometimes people get facts a little bit wrong. I don't know, I haven't checked it in about a year. But many people will lie and say that I ate animals and that I was a phony because people splice together all kinds of videos like that. But those who will really research, who really want to know, who really care about the truth will know that I tried as hard as I could for the last many decades of my life, or however long I live, to encourage people to be as vegan as possible. I tried so hard to undo the damage. I'm trying. Don't you want to try? Don't you want to try? Don't be like the Queen of England who ate dead animal after dead animal went through her entire body and then was shit out into the toilet. Thousands of them, thousands of innocent animals treated that way by the Queen of England. Because of what? Because of stupidity? No, because the Queen of England wasn't actually brave or kind. She was merely polite. No.